Okay. Club Manova 40 presented to you by Tolma Earth Moving. And the big news is that Daryl Tolma didn't win the start. There was a little bit of an oomph moment there as uh, Simon Lane led him out. So we'll just wait to see what happened to Daryl Tolma. Yes, he's down into second place, so he's just got a little bit of work to do. Can Simon knock him off? Wait and see. It's going to be a long race over 15. But uh, Simon would be determined to beat him. Okay, Simon Lane, Daryl Tolma in the 71. Daryl Tolma is the grandmaster of uh, over 40s racing. We saw him have a race earlier with Lee Cocker, and uh, he just stretched out then and said, oh, it looks like it's going to be a long afternoon in the saddle. That's what he was saying to me as he went past. So he's off and up and running. So Simon Lane leads, Daryl Tolma in second place. Sparky Marcus is right there though, right on their tail, so Sparky's coming along. Go-kart's a little bit weird early, oh, Popeye who does his tuning will be not happy to hear me say that, but it's a little bit weird on tyre pressure early, and then it seems to settle down later in the run, it just doesn't turn for him in the earlier heats. Dave Thompson's having a good start in the 48, and we'll have a look to see who comes through next, it should be the Michael Yo in the 72 who had terribly bad luck in the earlier race, and then Craig Henderson in the 11, and now Tail and Charlie, I reckon is Michael Clare. Okay, top end of the circuit, and Daryl Tolman is just starting to close the gap on the back of Simon. Simon's awfully loose, Daryl Tolman. Thanks, Simon. You want to slide off the corner? I'll just pick it up under brakes, and guess what he's done? Daryl Tolman straight into the lead, and off they go. So Tolman leads with Simon Lane. Sparky Marcus, just getting better. He'll get better and better as the run goes on in the 76. So end of the straight, Daryl Tolman leads him in. Simon Lane right there on his tail. Simon led the early laps, just couldn't set the pace for him. He closes up though as they come off the corner. Daryl Tolman brings him in. Tolman down through the S's. Tolman hangs the tail out that time, but Simon's not was determined to attack him as what uh, Tolma was to attack Lane. So Daryl Tolma in the 71, Simon Lane in the 79, 76, Sparky Marcus, Dave Thompson in the 48, just has a look to see Michael Yo, and then Craig Henderson in the 11. So 11 on the blackboard and down the straight they go. Daryl Tolma just loves sliding the go-kart around, hangs the tail out. And I'm not too sure who slides the go-kart more, whether uh, Aaron Jenner slides them around more or Daryl Tolman does, but uh, of course Aaron Jenner drove here for many years, super successful uh, driver at this circuit, and he'd be happy to hear me teasing him at the moment. Uh, Daryl Tolman gives it a little flick across the apex, gets the cart to settle and comes out, just has a look behind him and sees Simon Lane just dropping back those couple of cart lengths. The Tolma goes through, Lane gives it a bit of fuel, Sparky Marcus goes through. Dave Thompson goes through. And top end of the circuit, and Daryl Tolma down through the S's, 10 on the blackboard, so near a second, third of distance. Tolma just chokes the engine, you can see him put his hand down over the airbox as he brakes, and that gives the engine a big load of fuel, which means when you come off the corner, you just gives it a little bit more drive. So Tolma onto the straight. Simon Lane just looking for a tiniest, a tiniest, a little bit of fuel. And Tolma just slides it down into the bottom end of the circuit and takes it up into the weight field turn. Simon Lane on his tail. Sparky Marcus just can't quite match the pace of the guys in front. So over 40s racing. But Clubman has proved very popular over the years. I used to say that this is the place where blokes come to have their midlife crisis. But it certainly has been and is often a very packed class and very competitive. So eight laps remain on the board for Daryl Tolman. Simon Lane, Sparky Marcus, Dave Thompson. Mm. 
And Simon's got a, a, a new breath of energy there. He's just starting to close right in on the back of Daryl Tolmer. Here he goes, right down the inside. Tolmer's had what we call a lazy lap, and Simon Lane has gone side by side with him. Lane's got cart position. Tolmer will have drive onto the straight, so it'll be a very clever move for Tolmer. So Tolmer up and down in the saddle, stretches it out, gives it a bit of fuel, and Simon Lane now leads. Now nobody, I kid you not, nobody saw that in the script rider. That is a really big moment. So Simon Lane now picks up the race lead. And Daryl Tolmer comes down through the S's. It's rare that Daryl Tolmer's beaten. Here's Tolmer under brakes on Simon. No, he doesn't. So Simon controls the corner. Daryl Tolmer with seven to go, six this time round. He'll be pretty determined to make sure it all happens for him. Brings it on to the start, finish straight. Simon Lane comes through. Sparky just hasn't quite, like I said earlier, got the pace of the others. Daryl goes with Simon. Simon opens the door. Tolmer goes back into the lead. So very clean and fast passing manoeuvre at the end of the straight by Daryl Tolmer. And Simon Lane will stay right there. Tolmer up and down in the saddle. Oh, he got picked up a little bit, went across the kerb there. He just kissed the kerb with the back wheel, made the go-kart wiggle and squiggle. And Tolmer will try to drive away right now from Simon, using a fair bit of the go-kart because it's standing up on two wheels momentarily. So he's working the go-kart pretty hard. And Daryl Tolmer comes onto the straight with Simon Lane right there. Tolmer stretches out. Simon Lane stays in the draft. So five laps remain. I don't know if, if uh, Simon's got anything to offer, but we'll wait and see. So Daryl Tolmer takes it up through the top of Wakefield Turn, brings it off Wakefield Turn down through the S's. And Simon Lane is knock, knock, knocking on the door. As they come down under brakes, under the fence craft side, Tolmer controls the corner. You can see he's got that approach angle. And Simon Lane down the inside. Beautifully done, Simon. They switch back. They go side by side. And Simon will have cart position. Daryl Tolmer turns it in just a little bit earlier than Simon gets the cart set for a run onto the straight. Simon goes down the straight. Tolmer out of the draft. No, he can't. So Simon Lane leads him out. Four to go. It's a little bit like a, you know, one of those Formula V races where uh, you don't want to be the leader on the last lap, this one. But the dicing's just brought Sparky back into the equation too, so it's very, very exciting for everybody. So Simon Lane just got the best... He's actually had the best lap of all, all, all weekend right then. So Simon's having a great lap. Daryl Tolmer continues to chase. Sparky Marcus. Oh, Tolmer has... Looked, what are you doing there, son? You weren't in the equation, so Simon's out of there. Three laps on the blackboard this time round. Simon Lane, Daryl Tolmer lifts himself up in the saddle and gets the blood circulating as he heads down under brakes, closes down under brakes. Simon will accelerate off the corner and Daryl Tolmer goes after him at the top end of the circuit. You youngsters, just keep an eye on this battle and see where Daryl Tolmer attacks because you can learn so much from racing by watching these uh, more very experienced drivers such as Daryl Tolmer. He choked the airbox there so he gets good drive off the corner. And he brings it up off the corner. Simon Lane covers slightly, brings it off the middle hairpin and starts his second to last lap. So Simon Lane, when the penultimate lap comes through, Daryl Tolmer stretches out. He's there, right, I'm going to have to have a go here somewhere. And that's exactly what his body language said. Sparky goes, can you believe it? I'm in the fight. And that's what Sparky just said to himself as they go to the top end of the circuit. And Sparky's got to position himself because when Daryl goes for the pass, Sparky might be in a position to challenge. So here we go, but Simon's just pulled out a couple of tents. I reckon Peter Wallace is the ultimate tuner if he can tune this one to a win. So here we go. Oh, look at Sparky Marcus down the inside. Oh, Daryl Tolmer, it's spring. It's, it's mounting season. A rare mistake from Daryl Tolmer. So here we go, Simon Lane. Off we go. Simon ducks his head. I don't think he'll look. He won't realise what's happened behind him. And then... Um, Sparky Marcus have come through from Daryl Tolmer, who's uh, going to settle for third. The top end of the circuit through the Liberty S's, and Simon Lane brings it down through the Liberty S's. The wonderful weekend Simon's had here from Sparky Marcus, who will come home in second place. Daryl Tolmer's just happy to roll in and uh, bring it down home in third. So, checkered flag. Well done, Simon Lane. Love your work. And well done to Peter Wallace for tuning it. I can see Pete coming out the grandstand now. So great result to Simon Lane. Well, and Sparky is so excited. I think he won the race. And uh, he's a very exciting Sparky Marcus goes through. Daryl Tolman 
And then comes Dave Thomas, followed by Michael Yo. Craig Henderson goes through, our rock and roller, and our tail and Charlie for this one. 